Do you remember that same Bin Laden and those guys, they supposedly ran some airplanes into some buildings in New York? And then we got a Patriot Act? And then I got video cameras on me and phone taps and all type of other stuff? It's not possible that it could be happening all over again on the internet, is it? Brothers and sisters, MegaUpload.com was the twin towers of the internet. Did you hear what I just said? Guaranteed. Watch, it's coming. Brethren, we're here. We're here on multiple levels. But I praise God that as we've taken time to study the word this morning, it is clear. God is standing with his people. Amen. Though we may not see him with our physical eyes, by the eye of faith, we can know that the Almighty is sitting upon his throne, beholding all that is happening in the habitations of men. And that is why we need to flee to the throne of the Almighty. There is only one haven. It is in Jesus Christ. He is our sure foundation. He is our rock. He is our hope. He is the source of our salvation. The Bible tells us in the book of Daniel chapter 12 and verse 1, And at that time Michael shall stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was, since there was a nation, even to that same time, and at that time thy people shall be delivered, everyone whose name is found written in the book. Is your name in the book? The Bible tells us clearly, all who continue to sin against God, him will he blot out of his book. Is your name in the book? For we are told in Revelation 13 and verse 8, And all the world shall wander after the beast, whosoever's name is not written in the what? Of the lamb slain from the foundation of the world. If you allow the blood of Christ to cleanse you from your sins, your name will be in that book. If you call out to Jesus, your name will be in that book. If you surrender your sins today to Christ, your name will be in that book. Your name must be in that book. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared unto all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. The grace of God that has been extended to us according to Titus chapter 2, verses 12 and 13, is not just some puny unmerited favor. It's the power of God that we don't deserve. But he has made power available to us. Why? To gain victory. We must gain the victory. And I conclude in the book of Revelation chapter 3 and verse 21. Where Jesus himself promises. To him that overcometh. Well, I grant to him to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame and am set down with my father in his throne. No angel, no other unfallen being has ever been extended the privilege, the opportunity of sharing the throne of the Almighty. God is extending a seat in his throne. To you, the very throne that Lucifer desired to sit in. When he said, I will be like the Most High. God says, no, Lucifer. I'm going to burn you to ashes and all of the angels. But before I do that, those whom you have drawn into sin, through your temptations, by my grace, I will lift them up. I will reveal my image in them. And I will sit them in my throne. And then you'll burn. You 
you will see those whom you degraded ascended to the position that you fought for. The throne of God is yours for the taking. But you must yield your heart to the Almighty.